<laughs> I trust you've been well, Your Majesty. Do I look it? I suggest you have your eyes examined, if so. I should sever your head clean from your shoulders for this. My, wouldn't that be satisfying? But of course you can't do that now, can you? Your poor people's lives would be forfeit the moment you struck me down. As for your loyal knight and the former Duke Fraldarius, they're certainly giving it all they have, but a poultry force that size will hardly buy them any time. And once we've wrung the life from them, you'll be next. How tragic it'll be facing your beloved citizens for the final time with a noose around your neck. You know, I almost appreciate seeing such bold-faced sadism. There's not a hint of nuance to it. Is that a compliment I hear? You'll make a lady blush if you're not careful. Ironic, isn't it? Both you and your father will have died alone, betrayed by lords from within the very kingdom you're meant to be ruling. From hasty reforms to insurrection and assassination, did you learn nothing from dear old dad? It's only natural that those you refuse to help would hold a grudge. Lady Cornelia, kingdom soldiers approach the capital from the south. They're most likely returning from the assault on Arian Road. <laughs> I've been a bit too careless, it seems. They've come far sooner than I had expected. Use the bandits to buy us some time. We'll form ranks and intercept these fools at the capital. Understood. Seems you get to cling to your pitiful little life a few moments longer, Your Majesty. <laughs> what luck. Oh, but don't worry. When your end does come, it won't change your beloved Fodlin one bit. You see, these people are nothing more than simple-minded sheep. A ruler dies, and they all go flocking straight to whoever fills the void. <sighs> but they would hold a grudge. Yes, that is the way of revenge. Perhaps it was inevitable it would turn its cold gaze back upon me.